this is Ed Dembozik with Herd Realty, part of the At Home with Ed and Karen team. And I want to come and talk to you today about a question that is on many people's minds. Is this a good time to sell your home? Obviously, the market has gone through some uh, drastic changes, most notably because of higher interest rates. And the question is whether or not really you should sell your home. Now, if you are buying and selling a home, we recommend that you watch our videos that we did recently on how the market is impacting those that are buying the home. In fact, even if you are selling your home, there is some information in there that could help you make your decision. But we're going to cover some of that today as well. So I wanted to kind of tell you what's going on here in the local market as well as nationally. And again, because of the uh, fear about those interest rates, and they're probably going to go up again as I'm filming this, the uh, inflation rates went up uh, again. So um, expect the interest rates to rise again shortly. But here is a graph that shows you over the last um, year or so, even though the interest rates have started to go up, the home median prices are still going up. So it's not having a big impact at this point on home prices. And I think you'll see that even here locally in the East Tennessee area, uh, home prices are, are still rising. And that is because of supply and demand. And now this is a national issue. There is a lot of demand for homes still um, and very little supply. It was not caught up from COVID, for instance. Um, but in this area here in East Tennessee, we are still experiencing a lot of people coming to this area. We just recently closed on a home for some folks in uh, Oregon. And we have others that we're working with in California and other states. They are moving here still. And that is causing a good demand in this area. That means the sale of your home is still going to be relatively good and easy. Here's an inventory, uh, a chart of the inventory from 2007 to 2022, just to show you just the drastic difference in the inventory. And what is not pictured here is that there is still a uh, huge demand because of millennials. There's more people searching for those first time homes or those um, getting in that home uh, for the first time. So um, there is a lot of supply or a lot of demand and little supply. Now, locally, one of the things that we look at is what is called the absorption rates. And absorption rate is simply a chart or a, a graph that tells us just how quickly, if no more homes were listed on the market today, how quickly all the homes would evaporate. And you can see here um, that this time last year it was about 1.6 or 1.7 months. And we are back to that after dipping down to about one month. Now, Keep this perspective in mind that a neutral market is about five to six months of absorption rate. In other words, homes, a good supply of homes, if we were in a neutral market, it would last without any more homes being put on the market, no more homes being built, it would last five to six months. We are far from that. It is not going to happen quickly. It won't happen overnight. So you can expect, even if the absorption rate continues to go up as it has been over the last uh, six months, um, that it's still going to take a lot of time for us to get to a neutral market, let alone a buyer's market. So it's still an advantageous time for the seller. So let's talk a little bit more specifically about what you can expect if you were to sell your home. Now, in the last couple years, the amount that people could sell their home was just incredible. It was too much. It was it was just off the charts. And you can see in two, uh, two, uh, 2019 to 2020, when the Kind of the craze started right after the COVID restrictions were starting to lift. Home prices went up about 18%. The following year, even worse, about 29% here locally. Now, the, the, the projection by Fannie Mae is that the home prices this year are still, and we're seeing that locally. Actually, locally, we're about 13%. Um, but they are forecasting about a 10% rise from year over year in the change in your price, your home value. Now, going forward... Uh, they're looking at 4 to 5%, and that's actually pretty normal. That's a, a good, still strong uh, market for sellers. So, um, so what we want you to understand is that um, listing prices are still going up, but not like they were. So uh, you can see in this chart, there's still a steady growth of what you um, can expect to get for your home, um, but there is a danger. There is a warning, and this slide here tells me that there's people that are overpricing their home. You can see in the red, let me highlight that for you, in the red, and you can see those two arrows, the, there is the um, active listings, 
And then the gold line is the new listings. And you can see there's, um, there's a lot of active listings out there while there's not as many new listings. So that means that listings are staying on the market longer than they had been. One reason is because of overpricing. And you can see that the sold uh, listings, the number of uh, listings actually being sold has been relatively stable. And so we have to be careful that you don't overprice your home. And this brings me to the final point. If you are thinking about selling your home, we highly recommend that you talk to a sales professional, somebody that knows exactly what's going on in the market and can help you decide, A, if it is a good time for you to sell your home, and B, if it is, how to appropriately price your home and the best strategy to get your home sold. Now, we would be honored to have that discussion with you. You can feel free to give us a call. No obligation. We will come and talk to you. We'll look at your home. We'll help you make that decision. We'll ask you the questions that need to be asked so you can determine for yourself, is this a good time for you to sell your home? But no matter what you do, if you are thinking of selling, talk to somebody, talk to a good professional who can steer you right so that you get the most out of your home without having a home that sits on the market forever because it was not priced correctly in this changing market. We hope this has helped. Look forward to um, having some more videos in the future. We plan on having some videos to help you once you decide to sell your home, some strategies and best uh, practices for selling that home. So look for those. But we hope that you'll have a wonderful day. Take care. Mm -hmm.